I've seen signs that several businesses throughout Austin who were staunch supporters of Ron Paul four years ago now with Bernie Sanders signs. To many, it may not make sense because they are polar opposites ideologically. But there is some common ground. Both Ron Paul and Bernie Sanders followed their principles consistently over decades of public office. In a word, authentic. You know what these guys are about. Both Ron Paul and Bernie Sanders had a long association with a mainstream political party that they were never really a part of. They were never part of the club, never part of the establishment. That's why the establishment hates them. It's why we identify with them. We're not in that club either. And the supporters of both of these men speak of the movement behind their candidates as a revolution. But the system is obdurate. It hates change. The establishment of both parties each has its own ways of controlling access to power. An article today on the Drudge Report speaks of the undemocratic Democrat Party rules. At issue are the superdelegates, the superheroes of the party, current office holders, former office holders, party apparatchiks, and lobbyists. In fact, one out of seven, 14 percent of the superdelegates are lobbyists or former lobbyists. Bernie Sanders started out as a 450 delegate underdog. Hillary was one-sixth of the way to the finish line before the first vote was cast. So far, seven million people have voted, but 473 people that none of us know account for 42 percent of the delegates so far. In last night's Michigan election, Hillary lost but got more delegates. Both parties are dishonest and oppressive. The political parties should be abolished or replaced with new parties. But with the rules currently in place, the best we can hope for is a hostile takeover. A hostile takeover is easier under the rules of the Republican Party. As Nate Silver of 538 pointed out, the rules of the Republican Party are not as restrictive as the Democrat Party's rules. And it helps if you have a billionaire who doesn't need the money of the multinational corporate donors. Donald Trump doesn't have the grandfatherly demeanor of Ron Paul or Bernie Sanders, but as gruff as he may be, he's not dependent on establishment donors and he's willing to fight. And there's some commonality between Trump, Bernie Sanders, and Ron Paul. Like Bernie and Ron, Trump has also stood consistently and alone against the establishment for decades. Trump's stand has been in opposition to unfair trade that is taking our jobs and destroying our economy. 35 years ago, he paid $100,000 for an ad in the New York Times to oppose the trade and war policies of the multinational corporations, the globalists. He has opposed the Republican orthodoxy of so-called free trade and of being the world's policeman, and he has said it to their face. He's called for ending NAFTA, for auditing the Fed, for releasing the secret 28 pages of the 9-11 report. He will stop TPP and TTIP and stop the exporting of jobs. Neocons and those who want to provoke wars for profit for the military-industrial complex are his biggest critics. For all his bluster, he has long criticized American militarism and confronted Jeb to his face on the lies about weapons of mass destruction that were used to start the Iraq War. But most of all, he's not part of the club. Globalists hate him, multinational corporations hate him, the political establishment hates him, and the warmongers hate him. Think about it. He's closer to Bernie than Hillary. And no one personifies the cronyism and corruption more than Hillary Clinton. She must be defeated. Bloomberg said he would enter the race to stop Bernie and Trump if Hillary wasn't the nominee. Bloomberg understands what's at stake. Fox News and the establishment understand what's at stake. Do you? Thousands of years ago, there was a basic form of chivalry. Our ancestors would hear the drums of war, giving the warriors of the tribe a chance to organize and prepare a defense. 60 years ago, when foreign air forces were approaching filled with bombs, they had drums of their own, air raid sirens. But in the 21st century, there are silent weapons for quiet war. Pathogens added to the food and water and to the lining of plastics that destroy our vitality, turn off our hearts,
hormones and accelerate our journey towards death. I personally counter this onslaught with Anthroplex. Anthroplex is designed with known organic concentrated herbs to create the basic foundation to normal metabolic activity inside the human body. Discover why Anthroplex is turning so many heads today. It's time for us to take our bodies back into our own hands and it starts at InfoWarsLife.com with Anthroplex.